Sims fans have been asking for a baby update for years now. Previously, the little ones were relegated to mere objects that stayed in their bassinets, offering very few ways to actually interact. Now, the babies are freed. But is the base game's new infant update enough? It's certainly a game changer and makes playing with families a lot richer. The base game update also adds stretch marks, birthmarks, and new infant clothing and accessory items. Most importantly, you can finally fully customize infants in Create a Sim just as you can with all other ages. Be warned though, it can look a little creepy. Infants also get some personality. There are six traits to choose from, calm, cautious, intense, sensitive, sunny, and wiggly. And there are 18 available quirks, three of which are randomly assigned to your infants and are discovered as you play with them. All of these details affect gameplay and change how your infant sim crawls about the world. The thing is, the base game's infant update feels a little like a forgotten younger sibling compared to the new Growing Together expansion pack. The expansion pack actually lets your infant progress through the world like an actual baby would, going from lifting their head for the first time to eventually being able to crawl around on their own. Growing together also adds family dynamics, where you can define whether family members are close, strict, distant, or if they just love to joke around with each other. This adds a ton in terms of storytelling, and even if you're off playing with one family member, the other sims feel more likely to do what you'd want them to. Then there's the new world of San Sequoia, which is heavily inspired by San Francisco and the Bay Area. It offers two fully built and furnished starter homes with enough rooms to begin a family. There are tons of new build mode items, including new baby and family stuff. Also included are other decor items, furniture, plants, and structural home details to play around with. All in all, whether you're a builder or love creating rich family-based stories in The Sims, the Growing Together expansion pack is going to scratch your Sims itch far more than just the base game update. While free content is nice, the infant update feels more like a sampler for what you'd be getting in the paid expansion pack. Let us know if you've been playing around with the infants, whether in the base game or the new Growing Together expansion pack.